Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Horrible Minecraft here on the Horrible Night Minecraft server. I hear things. Evil things. Oh, there he is. If you like what you see in today's video, please feel free to leave a like. I would really, really appreciate that. It would help me out quite a bit. Ooh, some lag. Hostile creatures are super loud. <laughs> Also, if you are brand new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. I will do everything in my power to make it worth your while. Would most certainly appreciate that. The evil things. <laughs> Where are they? Oh well. So, uh, it looks like something blew up here. Not the case. Not the case in today's episode. Uh, we'll be actually working on this side of the building. That's a weird lighting glitch. Don't know exactly uh, where I was the last time I recorded. It's been a few days. It's been a few days, but uh, I guess these are new. I put in these uh, acacia poles, I suppose, if you want to call them that. I put them also on these corners here. It was just kind of feeling like the building was getting a little too stone-specific. And so I did a little bit of uh, mixing up in here. This may not end up being the final wood color. I'm not exactly sure, kind of, I don't know if it mixes well with the acacia orange, but I changed up these stones a little bit to make them a little bit more open. Also, uh, let's see, I've, I've done this here, so I've got, you know, lights on the corners here, also lights here in the center. I'll back up so you can see it, it's kind of in the way. Where are, where are the evil things? Hopefully they're not in the building. I feel like this is pretty secure for what it is. Uh, these stones here that you see will essentially all end up being these chiseled, uh, I'm not exactly sure, chiseled stone blocks, I think is what they're called. Ooh, spooky sounds. Also added in these acacia blocks here to kind of, again, add a little bit more flair. So those are all new. And I'm just trying to think of what else is different. But, you know, if you want to see kind of what it was before, go check it out. There have been many variations of said design. That guy sounds like he's close. He might be actually under here. Wow, he's really close. Yep, he's right there. Whoa, super loud. Let me change my volume. Things I should have done before I started recording. Hostile creatures down to 25. Oh, well, my master volume is set really high. That's probably why. I thought this was all lit up. Maybe not. Maybe not. I'll go ahead and put that there. Try to light all the things. This is kind of a little bit of a cavern. Really? Hmm, could have sworn this was all lit up. Oh, not lit up right here. That might explain a little bit. Ooh, lots of coal. Why have I not had this in my life before today? This is not on the agenda. I was not expecting to go caving. Hmm, now I might be lost. No, I think I need to go this way. Ooh. So in today's episode, I'm going to build a little bit. Okay, there are evil things in this vicinity. <laughs> I'll take care of them off camera. So I've done a lot of just building off camera. I haven't really been feeling too great lately. I was a little bit under the weather. But I'm back. Let's go ahead and put dirt there. I've been growing trees too, so I've got some trees here, trees there. I had to get all this acacia. All this acacia. All right, so let me head outside. When I get out there, I'm going to have to switch over to my screenshot because I've done a little bit of building and creative. Hopefully nothing will kill us out here today. I wonder where those guys are. As you can see here, we've got lots of blocks to play with today that are already installed, ready to go. Let's see here. I find that sort of building and creative, especially as someone that records videos, it's just a lot easier. I don't do a lot of sort of standing around, talking, 
try not to think out my ideas on camera. I kind of stopped doing that after a while. I find just sort of building off camera therapeutic is probably the word for it. Okay, so I know I need, oh, I'm going to need another one of these. Hmm. I think I need one right there. Cool. And it lets, it lits up. No, it lights up. And so I'll need another one for right there as well. Hmm. Well, I'll just have to <laughs> put in a placeholder. Imagine that's a lit block. Again, I have another placeholder because this is not 1.8 yet, so you can't quite get the chiseled stone blocks yet. So I've been basically, anytime you see, there won't be any cobblestone outside of these cobblestone walls. Because, well, I'm just not a big fan, I guess. Let's see. I think that goes like that, and that goes like, nope, not like that. Whee! Haha, -ha. but yes, 1.8. I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> There's a lot of cool stuff. I know Jordan has done his uh, testificate hospital so that he can kind of heal some sick zombie villagers back to health. I don't know exactly what he's been doing over there. I may have to go look. And let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I do believe that there will be a ledge like this. Like a boss. Do, 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 do. I thought maybe I didn't have enough. Yo, oh, got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I said that like I was a cowboy. Yeah. Hmm. Did I not actually build those? <laughs> I don't think I did. Oh, boy. I'm just a little out of whack. All right. <laughs> just trying to think. Of <laughs> You're not seeing what I'm seeing, and so that's a bit of a problem. Ah! <laughs> Let me go inside. Might be easier for me to do do some work on the inside. There we go. But the goal was to essentially figure out exactly what I want to do with this place. But I went ahead and sort of put this in. Again, this is all temporary. This is not chiseled stone blocks, I guess I should say. I'll go ahead and put these in. So I've got these here. And I believe that I need to turn those on. Hmm, don't you know how I turn these on? Does that work? Oh, nice. Okay. I usually don't like sort of having open areas. I'm one of those people that likes to have just real solid structure with my buildings. But, you know, you eventually just come to figure out that, well, that's not going to happen. Sometimes. So that will be a lit block and this will be a lit block as well. And so then this will be okay, Shaw. Sure. But I was playing with a little bit of an idea beforehand, although you can't put signs this way. But I kind of like that, at least maybe just in the middle here on both sides to kind of give it some more texture before it connects to here. Of course, when you come into here and you look up, this will actually be a dome. But, oh, as you can see, it's not quite a dome. I just kind of put this down. So this perimeter here, this is all going to be open. But I just kind of put the dirt down as a temporary little bit. This, of course, will be some sort of block. All right. Let me go ahead and switch my perspective. Where's my other... There we go. So a lot of this will be stone. So, let's see here. Yes. Like so. Don't know what's going to be right there, so let me just not put that block there. But as you can see here, this this structure is essentially just going to be kind of the, the skeleton, I suppose, of the, the whole build. 
I don't see a lot of people use acacia that often. And so I'm finding some creative ways of, of doing so. At least I feel like these are pretty interesting. Oh, shoot. Hmm. Oh, shift. Haha, there we go. And so these will all need to be replaced as well with stone. And then, of course, glass will go here. And I actually wasn't sort of gung-ho about this. I thought about maybe putting carpet down, but I kind of like it. I don't think the whole floor is going to be this acacia. It's probably just going to be regular stone. Stone blocks. So, like this. I'm going to go ahead and put some down for you so you can get the visual. Because, again, I'm looking at a screenshot. That's my creative world. And it looks good. I like it. Oops. Hit that shift. Oh, I've got a... <laughs> I've got a shovel dummy. I've been so used to not building with tools. Because I was in creative. Hmm. Oh, no soak touch on that. So, you know, that I think blends in with this. This blends in with the stone. Blends in with this. This is just a really good wood to... Oh! Ah! <laughs> To mix in with stone. I think this is just a really nice wood block. Sound like I was kind of romancing it a little bit, wasn't I? But this essentially will go and connect on all sorts. And then, of course, we'll also connect to touch other blocks like that. So this will go like so. Trying to save up as many blocks. Normally I would put a block there, but... Running a little low. How low can Jason Blocks go? And then down like this. And that just sort of, that whole pattern just repeats throughout the whole building. I like it. I think it's cool. I'm not exactly sure what to do here to connect, but we'll figure that out. It, you know, just adds a little bit of depth. Sort of doesn't keep the ceilings as high as they were originally. Need a sign there. If I'm going to do that, maybe just go here like that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump out of here <laughs> and then switch back over real quick. Okay, so what block is that? Is that just a regular block like a so? Yeah, I guess so. Very strange. Why must you rain? It rains a lot on this server. Like, more than it ever needs to to annoying amounts. Ooh, I did not want to do that. I wanted to do this. Oh yes, I need to replace that as well. Can I make it? No! <laughs> no! I bet I could make it if I tried real hard. Or just built a bridge up to it. Like this. That's better. Okay. Let's go ahead and get rid of these. Doink, doink. So what I'll do... Um, hmm, where's my screenshot? Screenshot. There we go. I will build this side because essentially there's, there's symmetry to this building. So I'll need to do the same thing on that side. Which might pose a little bit more interesting and frustrating build tactics. So I'll do that one off camera. And you'll see it before the end of the episode. Should probably eat before I get attacked and die. <laughs> that scared me, that horse way over there. All alone on the server, which is fine. There has been some activity, but the old house over there. Hmm... Go ahead and get rid of these. So what I have found about this build in particular is that I'm coming, becoming a little bit of a master of disguise, you could say. To where I'm hiding lighting blocks a lot. And that's kind of become a challenge, like a neat challenge for me, like there and there, and you kind of saw where I'm hiding them in here, that kind of thing. Because I don't want any torches to be in this build. I don't want to have any single torch sort of messing with my mojo. Go ahead and add those there and there. 
Eliminate these. Add those lock balls. Oops. So that's been fun. That's just been fun kind of going in creative and just thinking that you know exactly what you're going to do and then coming out with an idea that is completely different. So like say, here, I don't want those scenes. So guess what? I'm going to put stone blocks like that. But it adds depth. Because what will happen is that when I put the glass in here, it's going to touch right here. But of course, it's going to have depth through here, which I think is pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. And then of course, up here, since this is technically a floor, what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to add some acacia to add a splash of color. I'm going to go ahead and grab my dirt. Dirt McGirt. And let's do it like so. But see, there you go. There's some dirt. So guess what I can do? Take the dirt out. And then add my splash of color. So that from a distance, it's just not all stone. <laughs> I don't know if I grabbed any of those. Sound like I did. Stop running! Let's go ahead and grab these. I don't like wasting blocks, even if they're all crappy cobblestone. So those go like so. Let's see here. I th think. Yeah, so that's that. Ooh, a little bounce back. Ooh, I'm going to sneeze. It's going to be a mighty sneeze. Mm, don't sneeze. Uh oh, hold on a second. Hold it. Ooh, boy. That one. Add a little kickback to it. <laughs> Just a little bit of kickback. I think what I'll do is I'll add a... Yeah, I'll add a light block there. This thing is about to die. That's alright. It's just dirt. Who'll stop the rain? Not me. Not me at all. It seems to be pretty common with, with servers. It just rains whenever it wants. It rains a lot in my creative world, so I don't know. There's just some really sick people at Mojang. Or Mojang. However you want to pronounce it. This makes, makes us want to suffer in the rain. Hmm. So I need to get rid of these as well. So how are you doing? How's the family? How's, how's life treating you in 2014? I can't really complain too much. It's been alright. Let's see. Let's go like so... Like a boss. Ooh, not like a boss. You spoke too soon, you fool. Bam, 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 bam. So yeah, if you like these, you know, building techniques, feel free to use them in your own builds. Or if you've got any suggestions, maybe you saw something that I could have done a little bit differently, let me know. I will accept any and all suggestions. Boom! Suggestions! Alright, so then I'm putting these here as well. So I'll have to do that from from above. So I want to do the same thing over here. This is just a mangled mess. I just can't can't stay in one section at a time. I apologize. Whee. Boom, I'm a thunderstorm. Fear me. No, oh, I probably need to bust that out. Originally, <laughs> originally I had those chiseled stone blocks here, so I think maybe I'll just keep doing that. But I might end up go going back into creative and maybe trying to figure out something else that would work better. Okay. So, yeah, that's about right. Whee! And more stairs along the top. Like this. Ooh, <laughs> not like this. Right. Hmm. <laughs> My scaffolding 
could use some work. I'm gonna get hit by lightning doing this. Man. The Minecraft gods. They do not like me today. Not at all. Alright, so I think that's pretty close to being what I'm looking at here on my other monitor. That's really helpful, by the way, if you've if you've built something and you want to kind of build it again in a server, get a second monitor. The second monitors are fantastic. I highly recommend those. Now, the bottom part of the build has used black glass. Can I get around here? Ooh, very cool. I did not know you could do that. I think up here, though, I'm going to use um, just real light gray, I suppose. And again, I'm going to shave this back so that this building has a little bit more of a audience, I suppose. I'm just going to get rid of these and then jump. That's right. Let's take a little journey and jump. So that's really kind of hard to tell, but again... These blocks here will be the chiseled stone blocks. A little splash of color. Get some windows in there. And, you know, this is again, changed probably 50 different times. It could change again by the next time you see it. I don't know. It's very possible. Although, now that I look at it, I'm not so sure about these. I kind of like the splash of color. But, of course, this kind of wrecks havoc on that. So, I may just have to mess around with that a little bit more in creative. But, that is essentially what I'm doing right now. What do you guys think? I like it. Again, adds a little bit of color. It just looks better if you're able to not, you know, have this here. I guess I should maybe go back a little bit further. You're not going to see everything. Plus, it's raining. But... Whoa! That lightning was crazy! Oh, that's going to be the screenshot, most likely. Did that actually hit the building, or did it hit behind? Oh, it was like a weather vane. That's so cool. But, you know, it gives a variety to, you know, you got the stone blocks, you got the, the acacia behind there, you got the cobblestone. I like it. And then I'll put the windows in. But what I'll do is I'll uh, go to the other side now and I'll do that on camera and take a quick break and do the same thing on the other side. And the, the reason why the other side's a little bit more tricky is because it's on the water. Whee! Let's go see if anything's on fire over here. Man, this, this nether storm is crazy. But see, this is the other side. But it's on the water, so it presents a number of other challenges. So it may not be, like, identical. It will be up here. But down here, that may not necessarily resemble exactly what I've got going on over there. But as you can see, black glass. And you got the bright white glass here. I think I want to be a little bit more muted with a light gray. Or maybe just a... Uh, not regular glass. There's there's like white glass, gray glass, light gray glass. I'm not sure exactly which one I'm going to go with, but it'll be light. That's for sure. So I'll uh, kind of whip all this up for you guys and be right back. All right. I am back. That's right. I'm back. And as you can see here, put in, what is this? What is this? Gray stained glass. Didn't go with the light stained glass. Thought maybe... The, the light is a little too white, I think, for the situation, but I like the way this looks, and uh, again, kind of extended this a little bit just to see if things are working. Also extended all the beams all the way around, so I just wanted to show you, oh, I need to put some glass back here. Just kind of wanted to show you a little bit how, how this looks as you walk around it. Makes it just feel like it has a little bit more weight to the whole thing. Oh yeah, I should probably add some torches, roughly where those lights are going to be. You need to put the lights here, but this is the front of the building. Hello, Horrible Night logo. So I wanted to do that and had to hide all this stuff with carpet and whatnot. I do keep hearing things every now and then. Kind of put on some tunes and just jammed out. This will all be replaced with something else. I'm not exactly sure what other block I will use. I'll either use just regular stone or um, kind of this uh, I don't know, either just stone or maybe stone bricks. I'm not 100% sure just yet. And I kind of tweaked these a little bit as well 
I'm not so sure about those corners as of yet. I may just put a solid block there because, again, I'm not quite too uh, too happy. But I do want to show you the other side so you get a little bit more of a broader perspective. Oh, I should probably eat something before I try to sprint and jump out into the water. By the way, it literally rained the whole time. This probably took me a little shy of an hour to kind of just mess around a little bit. It just stopped raining on the server, which is ridiculous. Ridiculous. But, ooh, need to fix those lights. Hmm. <laughs> uh, but you get the idea. I hope so, despite that light not being quite right. This is roughly what it looks like. I'll probably add a little bit of this mossy cobblestone like something's going to come and attack me. There's always stuff way out here. That's not going to do anything. Right there, maybe? Yeah, <laughs> that's not lit very well. But that just kind of gives you an idea of roughly what we're working with. So yeah, I think that's probably going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed what you saw. Got to get that glass in there. Just got to go get lots of glass, it seems like. Glass there, glass there, glass back there, glass up front. Just glass, glass everywhere. Oh yeah, I also sort of trimmed this out a little bit so you can kind of see. I'll probably actually go one more block wider. Might even just shave it all the way back so that this is all all uh, just water. Maybe up to here even. I don't know. But again, as you see, it kind of presents some challenges. This I don't want necessarily floating. So under here, I'll probably have to add some structure. Maybe even add some sort of weird little sewery access panels. To go underneath that cave might do something underneath there in the the future but that's for a much much later date got to figure all this stuff out got to figure out a design for the front um i think i was originally gonna put columns Ooh, lots of dirt let's save the dirt i was gonna put columns sort of in like this corner here that corner there that corner there but i kind of like the openness of this a little bit so what i may actually end up doing is i may actually plant acacia trees Kind of like what I was doing before, but more in a, a purposeful manner. Because the acacia trees grow in some crazy patterns, and I love them. You could, you could probably grow four different trees that you would never think would work together in the corners. And that way it's a little kind of a lobby, garden-y kind of area with sort of the openness of the dome up top. I really like that idea. And I'm kind of thinking of maybe doing kind of like a map area back here, and maybe like a... A wall of members kind of thing that are on the server still alone but you know there are people that do, do frequent the server and I think what I may just do with these chests is I may make them so that they're like trading posts so like this is the thing I'm trading this is what I want as payment and you can actually put signs here and here I thought maybe about doing that for each person kind of making these bottom areas like a marketplace kind of situation I'm not sure I'll have to talk to everyone on the server and see what they think but I think that's probably going to do it for Nia for, for nearer <laughs> for now so again if you guys liked what you saw today leave those likes subscribe if you are not a subscription member of this channel i would really really appreciate it so until next time this is jpt go play your games and i'll be seeing you